Hey everybody, welcome back to the Henry Disc Golf Channel. Today we have part four of the Manufacturer Challenge. Let's see how it goes. Hey everybody, here we are on hole number one. Hole number one is a 295 foot par three. Was that you that threw first, Yes, Jason? I threw first. What were you throwing there? I think that was the Defy. Defy, yep, I think it was. Uh, I was throwing the Discraft Annex. Onyx, uh, Franklin there was throwing the Prodigy D1. And... Jesse is going with the Innova Star Wraith. And Jesse almost aces this hole. First time I've seen that one. Really, really awesome. Well, here I am with my upshot. So just trying to get up to the basket. All right, and here is Franklin's attempt at a two. I think you guys got clipped down by the tree there. Here is my putt for two. Boom, getting a good start to the round. It's a great start. And Jesse also was taking the two, so I did get his putt in there, otherwise everyone else was parked for uh, pars. All right, we have a hole two, it's a 268 feet to the basket, just tucked off to, to the left there. It's a par three. All right, Jesse did throw a G-Star Hawkeye. I was going with the uh, Nuke OS on my throw. Here I am. I'm trying to remember what I was throwing on this. That one. was a Crave. Okay, that was the Crave. Yeah. Yep, that was white with the blue rim. Yep. And then Franklin is going with the feedback here. Just pushes it in just a little bit too much to the inside there. All right, here was the results of my drive. Um, right there, I was throwing the Discraft Heat. Just trying to burn a throw, being outside the circle. And here I am going for a putt. All right, here is the results of Franklin's drive. Uh, he, of course, is putting with the uh, PA3. And the results of Jesse's drive, he definitely pushed um, off to the left quite a bit. And here we have some putts. I, of course, am putting with the Discraft Luna. The Luna was the putter that we were using for the challenge. Oh, and I just miss it off the top. And then here is me coming back there and just missing it again. So I'm gonna actually wind up taking it four here to go back to even. Everyone else basically had tap-ins for pars. Here we are on hole number three. Hole number three is a 200 foot par three. Straight ahead, um, Jesse was going with the uh, Halo Star AVR. And Franklin was throwing the uh, PA2 here. And so, a decent looking shot. And here I am, I was uh, th throwing the... Uh, I believe that was the Entropy. Yeah, it was the Entropy. And uh, I threw it unfortunately low. I was having issues with that that day. Yep, and then I do throw the... Uh, uh, what is that, the uh, Crystal Z Luna, um, just wind up pushing it over a little bit too much. This is kind of the reason why the Lunas be went out of my bag as a throwing putter. Um, here's the results of my throw looking at the two, and Franklin looking at the two and getting the two. Again, everybody else took pars for tap-ins. Here we are on hole number four. Hole number four is a 235-foot Par three. Franklin is throwing the archive. Because archive, yeah. Yep. And J Jesse is here throwing. Uh, I think that was the rock three. And I was throwing the servo. Yeah, the servo, and unfortunately, again, threw it low. <laughs> uh, I was throwing the big Z wasp. Um, 
didn't throw it too bad, just off to the left. Yeah, here's my upshot, and unfortunately, I think I uh, put a little too much air underneath this one and ended up over by Jesse. Yeah, and here is the results from Jesse's drive. He's looking at a putt. Oh! Just tap, tickling the chains. Yeah, here's my par attempt. Unfortunately, didn't make it. And this is Franklin's birdie attempt. Good putt. Get him putting it in. And this is a little my look at birdie. Boom, there it is. All right, so here we are on uh, hole five. It's a 435 foot par uh, four. And so it's uh, down the hill, pretty much almost straight ahead. Uh, you got actually two gaps you can go up the center and so with a flex shot or you can go out wide and so and find yourself in something a good spot to approach the basket yeah franklin was throwing the fx2 um, he threw it on the wide hyzer shot uh, i was throwing the mantis there and i believe jesse was throwing the halo sidewinder i'm throwing the uh Axiom Vanish. I actually had a pretty good shot with it. Yeah, here's the results of Jason's throw. It's a uh, pretty decent down there, um, just a little bit off to the right and in between the trees. I actually used the uh, Proton Echo for my upshot there. Yeah. Um, trying to remember what this that was from Prodigy. Yeah. <laughs> All we know is Frank Lewis from Prodigy. Um, he was actually playing really hot to begin with. Uh, Jesse here is going with an upshot. Um, don't exactly remember what disc he was throwing. I'm pretty sure that was uh, a rock or something like that. Here is the results of my drive. Right there, I was throwing an upshot with the magnet. And Franklin's attempt at a birdie for the three. Just missing it. Here's my attempt for the three. Good and I get it. Boom, good putt. Here is my attempt for the birdie. I wound up cashing that one in. Oh no! And Franklin wants up missing again. All right, here we are on hole number six. Hole number six is a 240 foot par three. I am throwing the get freaky zone. Just hung it out a little bit too wide. Uh, actually, didn't wind up in too bad of a spot. Jesse here is throwing the Innova Toro. All right, here I am uh, throwing the uh, Streamline Stabilizer. And I think we actually ends up all uh, found about the similar spot, and so at least a cluster of like three of us on this. Looks like Franklin here was throwing the uh, A2. And here are the results of Jesse's drive. Um, just right by the tree, this is probably right at about 25 feet. Just left it a little bit on the short side. Did hyzer off a bit. All right, here's my birdie bid. And unfortunately, sent it a little wide. And here is my look at birdie. Um, probably at about uh, 18 to 20 feet here. Good putt. Put nice it up and in. Putt. Thank you. And here are the results of Franklin's drive. Probably at about 15 feet. Cashing it in. All right, and here we are on hole seven. And so it's a 522 foot shot. Uh, we do have to be very careful of the water and stuff. It was actually really high today. This is a par four. Yep, so I was going ahead and throwing the uh, Discraft Undertaker. Threw it out nice and straight. Put myself in a good position for a look at an upshot. Franklin here was going with, I believe it was the F5. Um, he just wants up. I think that was the, actually the F6, uh, six, or no, D6. Did you end up putting that in the water, I thought? No, it was. I'm pretty sure it was a fairway driver. It was an oh, F5. Okay. Yeah, he turned okay. it over too much, put it in the water. It actually did wind up floating. Um, Jesse, uh, I'm not going to remember what he was throwing. I think he was throwing, no, he was throwing the G-Star Valkyrie. And then, I'm not too sure what you threw there. Uh, I'm trying to remember back to that. Um. Yeah, Franklin is going out and over the water trying to push the basket. He does wind up just hitting the tree and dropping in the water. We were calling the water, especially where he was, because that tree is normally in bounds. Uh, we were calling that casual, because um, the water line, of course, was so high. All right, here is uh, 
my uh, second shot. Uh, again, don't really remember what I was throwing. It's been a little bit. <laughs> this was, uh, we are recording this uh, well over a week after we actually shot the video, so we're definitely trying our best to remember what we were throwing. Uh, here's Jesse's upshot. Um, looked pretty decent. He did wind up just pushing it quite a bit left. Um, here is my shot. I was throwing a buzz. Just hung it out too wide. Again, that spot is casual. So basically, um, you'll see what I do to counteract that casual um, water there. Okay, so again, I end up in the water. Um, and so just barely in the edge. And so here's my uh, second sh up shot. Trying to just get it up to the basket. All right, so what we decided to do is to put Franklin right by where the other um, pin placement was because that would be about equal distance from where he was by the tree. Um, and basically the same thing for me, I just took this back further away from um, about the distance of what my disc was in the water to uh, where I put myself here. And I actually take the ESP sting and cache it. That was uh, really good for the birdie. Here is Jesse's look at birdie. Um, he just goes ahead and lays it up. And unfortunately, and so I went for the putt and missed it. That's yeah, just barely in the water though. Super easy to retrieve. And here is uh, Franklin for his par. He does get it. Here we are on hole number eight. Hole number eight is a 260 foot par three. Uh, here I am throwing a big Z stalker. Um, I do put it out nice and wide and actually come up right by the basket. Um, Jesse was throwing a star Mako 3 here and nearly rings it up. We all thought it was going in up until it just went over the top. Uh, Franklin is throwing an M4 here. Uh, he has actually aced this hole with an M4, so pretty pretty cool to see him throwing an M4 there again. Actually, no, he didn't, he didn't ace it with an M4. He aced it with a different disc. All right, and I was actually throwing the uh, Axiom Rhythm there and unfortunately clipped the tree and just picked up the rhythm and threw it again to, for my upshot. Just missing the putt. All right, so this is about the time in the round where everybody's bags start opening up. Um, the way the rules wound up working is that everybody had to throw each disc in their bag at least one time before they could throw it again. Um, and also, if you were outside of 30 feet, um, basically, you could choose to either burn a disc or you could choose to use your putter um, for putting. I am going ahead and taking a two here. Franklin is tapping in for his par. Jesse is looking at his... I can't remember if that was a two or a par. I think that was a uh, par. All right, so here we are on hole uh, nine. And so if it's 190 feet straight ahead us up on top of the hill... I was throwing a Buzz SS. Um, I think this was one of my last two uh, that I had to throw. And Jesse, I believe, was going with the Halo Star AVR again. Oh no, he was throwing an AVR 3 here. And there's Franklin throwing the uh, Distortion. And I'm uh, throwing the Stabilizer again. That's a good throw. A little short, but good throw. So here is the results of mine. Um, because I was outside still, I did have to use my Hades. Uh, Franklin was looking at a putt, just missed it. I believe he was putting with the PA3. He was inside the circle. Here is the results of Jesse's shot. Ooh, just a yeah, little yeah. bit short, a little early. And I unfortunately was kind of trapped behind that bush, had to throw a sidearm approach. All right, so here we are on hole number 10. Hole number 10 is a 440 foot par three. Um, this was the last disc that I had to use uh, at this point in time. So I was throwing the uh, ESP Zeus. All right, Jesse was here. He was throwing the Innova Destroyer, uh, Star Plastic and AJ1. Super cool disc. Franklin here was throwing the... I think that was the D5. That was the D5, yep. Wants up turning it over a little bit too much. And I'm throwing the... Uh, oh, Zenith. Zenith. Yeah. I believe it was the Zenith on hole two that you were throwing. Okay. Not the, not the Crave. Okay. 
Here's the results of Jason's throw. Um, threw a pretty, pretty okay shot there. And this is Franklin. This was a great shot. Just put it right up by the basket. Yeah, absolutely beautiful shot. And here is the results of Jesse's drive. Uh, I believe he is going with the AVR3 here. Just trying to put it up right next to the basket. That was a pretty decent shot. And here are the results of my drive. I'm going to go with that uh, magnet again. And just put it a little short and a little bit to the left. Actually wasn't too bad. Okay, well here's my attempt and stuff for the birdie. Get him. Boom. Hit. Good but And here is Jesse's shot. Did wind up going a little into the woods. He was not super happy with throwing the KC Pro AVRs as his well, putting putter. Um, I think it was after this hole that he could actually um, start throwing a different putter. Um, nice putt by Franklin. Yep. And then here is my putt here. Again, about a 12-footer hey, uh, for the birdie. I'm on a little bit of a... Or no, that was my first birdie of my birdie streak, I think. So here is... Uh, hole 11. Hole 11 is a 415 foot par 4. I was throwing an ESP Hades. Here is Franklin throwing the D5 again. He does just wind up turning this over a little bit too much. Um, he's going to wind up over by the T pad of hole 16. Alright, and I'm throwing the uh, Axiom Vanish again. I was actually enjoying this disc. It hasn't been a disc that I've really liked before, but it was actually flying good today. Yeah, it was definitely good. So here is Jesse. He is throwing the Halo Savant. Throws it a little bit wide. It does wind up coming in just a touch early into those trees over there, but he does put a pretty decent move on it. Here is the results of Franklin's drive. He is going with the uh, Detour. Putting it up there towards the basket. I don't know, sorry, distortion. Distortion. Yeah. Wow. Throwing a new disc out there that we haven't thrown yet. Right. And there goes my uh, up shot. I got myself up there. It is Jesse's throw. He did wind up going with the Toro. Uh, I was still quite a bit away from the basket, but I definitely was trying to run that one there for the Eagle. Just missing it, putting it right next to the basket. Alright, and here's my attempt for the birdie. Unfortunately, I think I did miss that one. Yep, that was just a little bit low. Uh, Franklin. And oh, Franklin. Franklin's also missing. Alright, so here we are on uh, hole 12. It's 150 feet. It's a little uh, turnover shot into the woods and so on an elevated basket. So I was throwing the uh, Pro D magnet there. Um, was kind of running the basket a little bit. Had a pretty good look at it. I believe Jesse was throwing the Halo Star AVR there. Um, just put it a little bit too tight. Franklin was throwing the distortion on a sidearm. And I'm throwing the uh, Paradox. Unfortunately, I think I... Uh, yeah, you went through the trees yeah, over there the on the trees. one side. And here goes my uh, attempt for the birdie. That was a really good run, but just a little low. Extremely good run. Here are the results of uh, Franklin's throw. He uh, did push the basket a little bit long. But Ooh. Just missing that one. Just barely. Very good look. Out of putt for him. And Jesse uh, decided to... I think he started throwing the uh, Halo Aviar as his putting putter at this point in time in the round. Um, of course, Franklin tapping in his par. Here is the results of my drive. Boom. Good putt. Good putt. That was uh, right at about circle's edge, maybe just a little bit inside, but it was definitely a good look at a putt. And then Jesse cleaning up his putt and Jason tapping in for a par. All right, so here we are on hole 13. Hole 13 is a 220 foot par three. I am gonna go with the get freaky zone here. Just trying to throw it flat and hard and have it um, get up to the basket. Again, it's not a very long one. I did actually have a really good drive there even though it was low. Jesse was throwing the AVR3 there. Uh, just kept it a little bit too tight. All 
And there goes Franklin, and I think that was the uh, either the archive or an M4. I believe that was an M4. Yeah, and here I am uh, throwing the uh, Echo. That was turned out pretty well for me. He may have gone PA3, PA3. Yeah, possibly. I think he did. I think he went PA3 yeah, that on, was a, on the throw a there. a good putt for Franklin. Oh, yeah, good too. And here goes my birdie attempt. Oh, just push it a little outside. Here is Jesse's look at a birdie. Just a little low. And this is where mine wants up. I was just cut off by the tree that was there. I wasn't very happy about that one. I was trying to straddle out. All right, and here we are on hole uh, 14. It's 595 feet, par 3. Par 4. Oh, par 4. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And so this one's a long one, and it's like way off to the left. I can't exactly remember what Franklin was throwing here. I almost think he was throwing a, uh, a D1, uh, but it may have also been the D5. Uh, here I was going with the Hades, uh, the ESP Hades. Um, put it out there pretty good up towards the top of the hill. Jesse is throwing the Wraith. Uh, he went with the Wraith again, a Star Wraith. Putting a pretty decent move on it. And here goes my shot. I think I was throwing the uh, Vanish again. Yep, throwing the Vanish. Just did wind up uh, going a little bit too far left. But he actually didn't wind up in the water, so that's good. It was really mucky over there, though. Here's my uh, second shot. And so I think, unfortunately, I still didn't get that one very high. Yeah, it was uh, right into the side of the hill there. Here is... Franklin, that was a gorgeous shot from him, absolutely putting it down by the basket. And Jesse kept it a little low, still was about close to pin high there, I believe. All right, and here goes my third shot. Can't remember what I was throwing here. It might have been the rhythm. You were definitely favoring the rhythm for most of the round. All right, so here is my shot. I believe I'm going with the Mantis here. Just wind up pushing it a touch far and going down the hill. All right, it did still come up a little bit short. And so I'm gonna try to give this a run or a toss up to the basket. I think I went down the hill just a little bit. All right, here's Jesse with the Halo AVR. Putting approach, putting it right by the basket. Here's Jason's look at a putt. Ooh, it's a little to the outside. Franklin's look with the PA3. And I believe this is myself, yep. That is where I want up. Get up. Like I said, long of the basket. I do just basically lay it up, put it underneath the basket. Goodbye. Franklin tapping in his par. Everybody else had tappins there. All right, we are on a hole 15. This is a 355 foot shot. And so just kind of down the hill into some trees. Just want to kind of throw it nice and straight and just let it hyzer off at, down the hill. All right, so Franklin was up first, if I remember right. I believe he was throwing the feedback here. Um, I did go with the uh, ESP Zeus. There went Jesse shot. I don't remember what he was throwing there. It almost yeah. looked like the uh, Sidewinder, but I don't think he threw the Sidewinder on that yeah, shot. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, there I was. I'm pretty sure I was throwing the uh, Vanish again. Just... Made it to the top of the hill, trying to go in between the trees to get to the basket, and unfortunately, and so I don't put enough juice on it, so I still don't end up in a bad spot, but just off to the left. I hear the results of Franklin's drive. Um, 
I believe he is trying to run a putt here. He's kept it a little bit too high, hitting the branches and dropping down. And here goes Jesse's attempt for the birdie. Oh, oh. just a little low. And I think he is actually throwing the eagle there, uh, looking at the disc while it was sitting on the ground. Oh, and here is Franklin's look at par. Just missing it. Jason's look at par, Good, uh, cashing that par in. And here is my look at birdie. Ooh, just missing it. All right, so here we are on hole 16. Hole 16 is a 295 foot par three. Here I am throwing the stalker. Just trying to put it on a little bit of, uh, put it out there with a little bit of uh, width and then just letting it hyzer back in towards the basket. Jesse is going with the Halo Star Savant. Kind of trying to throw the same line as me, putting it out a little bit wide and going from there. All right, and I was uh, throwing the uh, rhythm and so just getting it over the top of those dirt mounds and up as far close as I can to the basket. All right, Franklin here is throwing the F3. Threw it just into the top of that mound there. Left himself a little short. I had a pretty good shot, and so got my look at the basket here, giving it a run, but unfortunately I kept it a little too low. So here is where Franklin wound up. I'm trying to give it a little bit of a look. Definitely gave it a run. Here are the results of my drive. I am definitely trying to put this in, and I just come up a little bit short. Oh no! And Franklin just spits out there. I will say this about the PA3. I think everybody missed this hole, and missed it not just once, but twice with the PA3. All right, so here we are on hole 17. It's a 430-foot par four. Just kind of straight ahead, and then it's kind of tucked into this little cove. All right, I believe Jesse was throwing the Destroyer. I was going with the Hades again. Um, these discs were extremely hard to track with the where the sun was um, on the video, so you may see some of them. You may not see the others. Mine was actually a really good throw. If it was in the other pin placement, it would probably have been parked. I think I was again going with the Vanish here. Yep, and that one did stay pretty straight. Um, Jess, or Jason's body was a little bit in the way of where that one wound up. And then here is Franklin. Again, it was really hard to track where these ones wound up, wound up going with the way the sun was. So we will definitely see where they wound up here. All right, here I go uh, with my upshot. So I think I was again throwing the rhythm there. Here's the results of Jesse's drive in a pretty decent spot. I believe he's going with the AVR3 there on an upshot. I think he left that one just a little short. I can't fully remember, but we'll find out here in a second. Here was Franklin's shot. Pretty decent look. And here goes Jerry's shot. That was a good one. Yep, yeah, right up by the basket. I believe I was throwing the magnet again. Oh, no. And that was my approach to get me to the basket. Uh, Franklin with a missed putt. No. Jesse with a missed putt. Jason finally cleaning it up. I know I the, the right, guys were a little disappointed uh, in those missed putts. All right, here we are on hole 18. Hole 18 is a 345-foot par 3. It is downhill just off to the right. I am going with the Big Z Stalker, throwing it out wide, letting it just hyzer back into the side hill there. And that's a pretty good-looking shot. All right, Jesse actually went with the G-Star Hawkeye here. I was super surprised in this throw. It actually wound up really well. Um, came in just before the tree line there. 
and he has a long look at a putt. Franklin was throwing the F3 again, just wants up popping it over a little bit, but he will have a long look at a putt as well. Here I am throwing the uh, rhythm. And fortunately, and so if I came out of my hand a little early and I ended up way up on over to the left. Here goes my upshot. And so it ended up pretty good. That was a pretty good upshot. Here is the results of Franklin. Good Ooh. throw. No, it's so not bad. Close. So very close, for sure. Uh, even though we're doing a voiceover, um, I do keep the uh, sound on for the James um, because of that reason right there. Jesse hitting a big putt. It was uh, a great putt. And there was a little bit of wind noise um, at that point in the video. So I do apologize for the wind noise. Here is my putt Good for putt. Birdie. Getting it. Nice putt. And just tapping in some pars. There it is. Good Hello. Uh, well, I uh, finished this uh, manufacturer's challenge uh, throwing MVP, which uh, for the most part is um, the manufacturer I throw the most of. Um, and actually, and so I was my second best round. My best round actually ended up being with Innova. Um, so threw a plus six. Um, going over my discs. And so the ones that I actually uh, enjoyed the most today, um, surprisingly, one of them, which I've thrown before, but it's not in my bag, is the Vanish. Uh, the reason why it's not in my bag is it's a little bit more overstable than the Wave, and I kind of like the Wave a little bit better. Um, but this one was actually throwing really well for me today and was defendable on my distant shots. Uh, then I was also uh, throwing the Rhythm a lot. I do bag the Rhythm and throw the Rhythm quite often. I uh, love that disc. And so uh, then I also threw the... Um, echo a lot today um i would normally probably throw the paradox more but this course really doesn't have as many uh shots that i need to turn over uh so i wanted the extra stability in the echo and so I filled that slot really well uh, and then the other one for me and so was the stabilizer for kind of my overstable uh putter hello everyone so today i shot a down one with prodigy and uh, an honorable mention for the PA3, I actually really enjoyed putting with it. I felt like I hit some uh, big putts slash some clutch ones. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, didn't, you know, close it out uh, altogether, you know, for the round, uh, for myself anyway. But getting to the discs that were actually really good. So you have the uh, F3. Uh, this is just a really great uh, kind of straight uh, fairway driver. And it, uh, it can be a little bit flippy if it tends to get onto any any angle, uh, and it will kind of hold that. So you got to be a little bit careful. But overall, I was like, you know, it did me well today. And then my main driver off the tee for the longer holes out here was the Proto D5. Uh, it was just, again, a, a very straight disc. Uh, for the most part, we'll listen to what you tell it to do. And then the one that I actually bag and uh, is the distortion i really enjoy uh this just overstable approach i think in all the manufacturers with this slot uh this slot made uh my uh, top three uh because i just i throw the most forehands out of all of us and uh, i also just again like a consistent flight hey i'm jesse today i played a down six with innova i go the the disc that helped me play good was a Halo Savant. I go. I had some good shots with the Hawkeye, and at the end, I hit a big putt with the AVR. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a heck of a lot of fun to make. Uh, my honorable mentions. Uh, I shot a down nine, which is the hot round for the whole manufacturer challenge out here today, um, which is. I won't say my average, but it's on the higher side of what I average out here on this course. Um, so I will say the zone, specifically the Get Freaky Zone. Um, definitely enjoyed this. This I bag a zone, uh, which is in multiple zones currently. So this is definitely one that I was very used to. Very versatile, very consistent. Um, I will highlight... 
I will highlight the uh, Luna. I was putting extremely well with it today. Um, it was my old set of putters um, that I used to putt with uh, up until last season when I decided to switch back to the AVR. But I was hitting a lot of putts with this. Felt super consistent. Felt very good out of the hand. A uh, disc that I was surprised with, actually, is the Stalker. Um, I did not like this disc when I was throwing Discraft only. I tended to just throw it right into the ground every single throw, kind of because I knew I threw it right into the ground. I made sure that I put it nose up, got some height on it every time I threw it. But every time I threw it, it basically did exactly what I wanted it to do. And then, of course, the big bomber for me was the Hades. Um, again, because I was primarily a uh, discraft player there for uh, a couple of seasons. The Hades was um, one of my main distance drivers, so I definitely felt really comfortable with this. Um, put it on a lot of highs or have it pop up to flat right over just a little bit. Definitely was bombing all over the place. So the grand totals for everything. Uh, for the Archer scores, you have Jesse and myself tied at 13 points. You have Franklin at 10 points. And Jason at uh, four points. <laughs> and then we have a two-way tie for the top for the manufacturers. You have MVP and Discraft, both at 11 and a half points. Innova at eight and a half points. And Prodigy at seven and a half points. So Prodigy did uh, round out the rear. But that does make the most sense because it is probably the least amount thrown out of all the manufacturers that we've looked at. So I think... Me and Jesse have to come out here with our our bags and just duke it out for who is the best archer in the group. I will say this, I had the better scores consistently throughout the whole time where Jesse uh, was a little bit more up and down in terms of that. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Make it good for somebody else. We'll see you next time. Peace.